If you take a look at nursery students, they have more fees than us. You have to like meet a certain amount of credit points in each core area and then you can choose the rest of your course as you like. Alright guys, so welcome back once again. If you're somebody new to my channel, my name is Nikhilesh. I'm right outside Super C, which is uh, one of the main buildings of RWTH Aachen, also with a couple of my friends. They've just arrived. Yeah. yeah. It's been how long? Four or five days maybe. Four or five days. If you are somebody who's interested in data science, make sure that you watch today's video till the end. Can you please introduce yourself? I'm Prathamesh, I'm from Mumbai. I'm starting data science at RVT Aachen now, this semester. I just graduated from DJ Sangvi University this year. As soon as I graduated, I applied for these universities in Germany and I'm here now. What was your percentage? Like My uh, CGPA? CGPA was 8.92 around. Wow. Hi, I'm Chaitanya Naule. I'm from India as well. I have completed my bachelor's in computer engineering and I got CGPA of 9.34. I'm from SPPU, like uh, Pune University. And uh, then I did uh, like three years of work experience. I work as a Java backend developer in interactive brokers. Then I am going to study data science at RVTI. Which all universities did you apply and for what course? I only applied uh, TUHH and uh, RVTI for data science course. I was going to apply the Saarland University but I didn't because I got admit before it. What about you? I applied to TUM, LMU, uh, RVT of course, uh, FAU, Erlangen, University of Würzburg and a few others but uh, I only got admits from RVT and FAU and also a college called University of Freiburg. Yeah. Okay, okay. All data science courses. All data science courses. Yeah. So one of my key questions is, I know it's way too early for me to ask you guys because you've just arrived yeah. in this country but before you were uh, coming to Germany, uh, I'm sure you, you must have done some homework about what is the job market like, right? How is that for you? I've heard that the IT job market is good right now in Germany. It's stable and there are plenty of openings. They actually need skilled students like us in the like data science and machine learning fields. And uh, I know the main job market in Germany is for mechanical engineers, but there's a lot of scope for IT engineers as well. Yeah, same. So as I said earlier, I'm from like uh, software development background. So this is kind of a career switch for me like uh, data science so right. uh, this data science field is currently going to boom like uh, everywhere uh, if you see uh, like the Instagram algorithm and everywhere so you see um, people need uh, to use uh, this technology and uh, so yeah um, as far as job market goes obviously in Germany you might not find uh, like job prospects like USA but uh, the good opportunities are there what are the top three skills in your research you came across that job markets are looking for? I think you need to be proficient in like uh, programming languages like Python and R which are like widely used in data science and machine learning and you need to have a strong math and statistics background that's like one of the main uh, subjects you'll study here and which are used everywhere and you can do some machine learning courses on like online platforms or through YouTube etc but you just need to have your basics clear. Okay, okay. In terms of data science course, what you're studying, is there any sort of a specialization or a, can you just walk us through the yeah, course curriculum? Yeah, so uh, basically it's an open curriculum. So there are a few core compulsory courses such as maths and introdu introduction to data science. You can like choose the rest of your courses and there are specialization areas like business analytics. Uh, there's, any, there's even a specialization in physics is what I've heard and so uh, you have to like meet a certain amount of credit points in each core area and then you can choose the rest of your courses as uh, as you like. So you could do a specialization in business analytics if you want. I've seen few people going in private university to study data science. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think non-CS background students stand a chance in this industry? Yeah, I think so. So one of my friends uh, who had a mechanical background, uh, he is going to study data and decision science. Uh, data and uh, yeah, data, yeah. Analytics and data analytics and digital uh, decision science at uh, RVTI Business School. So RVTI has an international academy uh, uh, in which you can do such things. If you have a different background and you don't get into uh, RVTI's uh, like data science course, you can try that as well. So, I am going to Germany. I actually came to the office. I am going to Berlin. 
अगर आप लोग एडमिशन प्रोसेस डू यू थिंक लाइक पीपल विद सी एस बैकग्राउंड हैव अपर हैंड कम्पेयर टू पीपल विद नॉन सी एस एज फार एज यूनिवर्सिटी एंड एडमिशन गोज यू हैव दैट सो बेसिकली दे नीड सम क्रेडिट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल मैथमेटिक्स क्रेडिट्स कॉम्प्यूटर साइंस क्रेडिट इन ऑर्डर टू गेट एडमिशन अलॉन्ग विद दैट यू नीड गुड जी आर स्कोर सो बेसिकली दे वॉन्टेड अबाउ सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट टाइल इन क्वांट विच रफली गोज टू वन सिक्सटी फाइव आउट ऑफ वन सेवेंटी एंड या फॉर वर्बल दे ओनली नीड फिफ्टीन परसेंट टाइल विच इज Like 143 out of 170, which is quite doable. Okay. So yeah. Okay. And do you think uh, can you give them people with non-CS background, if they were to invest money and study in a private university, do you think they can still make it into full-time job? Yeah, I guess I think they can make it because uh, you can learn like even if you have a non-CS background, I'm sure you know the basics of maths is uh, like it's the same across all the engineering backgrounds, and they'll teach you everything you need to know in the like courses, data analytics and decision science. Science is a course in our Vitya Business School, and uh, you, as long as you learn Python and uh, machine learning stuff, which you can learn easily without having a CS background, you as long as you learn coding, you can learn one language, and then all the languages, other languages are easy to learn. So you can easily make it in the like market. Where do people go wrong when they, when they file application for data science for German universities? Well, the main uh, like document you need in public universities, at least, is the module description. Uh, so you need to like identify your bachelor's courses which are relevant to the same master's courses so for example you need to select which courses correspond to theoretical computer science in uh, like what in these universities and you need to prove your credit points so like you need to prove that you have enough credit points to apply from what i've seen SOPs and LORs aren't that important in public universities because uh, RWDs didn't ask for anything like that, and only a couple others asked for it. And the the main document is this uh, module description document. Okay. Okay. What is your last thought for all those students who are watching us right now? Well, uh, I think you should definitely try to come here. It's a great place. I honestly love it, and uh, you can like easily even if, if even if you're not a CS background, you can definitely make it here. And all the best for your future. your applications what's your last thought to all the future students okay germany is currently offering uh, free studies for us international students i mean there are some universities like tum which are going to charge some fees if you look at uh, our fee structure so our tuition fee is zero and uh, the semester contribution fee is around th- 300 euros which basically converts to 28000 in our country this is quite cheap like uh, even if you to uh, take a look at uh, nursery students uh, they have more fees than us uh, <laughs> right now so it is quite a good opportunity to learn um, in such big university and here you get to know other international students as well and how they are uh, getting t- t- and everything else so it is kind of a good opportunity and you shouldn't miss so all the best